This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. Uh, and we have a very musical episode for you. Uh, this is the show where we talk with awesome people in and outside Pittsburgh doing great things online, uh, in person, and, and in video this week as well with music. Um, but check out all the stuff we have going on at awesomecast.com. Uh, you can check out all the past interviews um, from couple of years now we've been doing this uh podcasters uh video producers uh you know everything you can think of there uh and please subscribe to it on itunes Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and of course video versions on the awesome cast facebook and youtube pages and of course live on the facebook live and of course we're every tuesday uh, especially coming up here in 2018 a little bit of a break uh every tuesday 7 p.m for the main awesome cast. So, uh, like I said, a very musical episode this week. We have uh, with us today Josh Car- uh, Corkin. Corcoran. Ah, no. Yeah, you, you recovered. <laughs> I recovered. There you That's go. Good. Joining us, he's, of course, part of Spare Change TV. And, of course, he's been in the studio before as part of WebThinger yeah. that we've been uh, working on here uh, as, as a new thing. How are you doing tonight? Doing wonderful. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks for thanks for making it out. I know the, the weather is a little crazy here in Pittsburgh tonight. The so. weather outside is frightful. Yes, it is. Yes, say. it is. It scared away all the rest of my interviewees yeah. tonight. So. I didn't know this. Yeah. I, I, wa- I went, I stopped by the, the local bar here. What's it called? Huddle? The Huddle, yeah. Huddle. And uh, I sat down and the guy looked at me and he's like, is it snowing yet? And I was like, is it supposed to? So I didn't. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Well, we'll keep an eye on it here out yeah. the window. I might have to sleep looking. on the couch tonight. That's where, <laughs> you know, that's where I slept last night because yeah? that got pretty crazy. But, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. uh, but anyway, so so first of all, like, let's talk about Spare Change TV. Yeah. Um, it's something that you guys have been doing for a while. I, I, I've heard, uh, I know uh, Scott uh, with Pitchworks was, is Good a guy. B- big fan and poured over yeah, huge yeah. to me to go check this thing out. <laughs> and it was, it's great to get you on to talk about this. what is spare change TV. So spare change, uh, it's a, a, a Pittsburgh based web series that we started in February of this year. And what we do is we perform music as a means of uniting different businesses and communities in support of charities. And, uh, we've done 11 episodes now. Every episode features a different cause mm-hmm. and uh, sometimes a different town. And really, it's just it's just a, four of us, a group of guys that are going out and trying to find ways to make uh, different causes and charities come across in, in the best light and, and do our best part to make a great video that's engaging and raise money along the way if we can. That's awesome. So, yeah. so, so where did this concept come from? Well, it started, back, like I said, back in February, and I was um, in between jobs, and I had some time off, and... Uh, what was going on was it was a warm February in Pittsburgh and a good friend of mine, uh, Pete and I were playing music at a local bar and we were done with our set and it was nice out. So we decided to go outside on the street and perform just as kind of like a joke. And I used to play professionally, um, back in the day with a band called table 10 that we started at Penn state. So we were out playing and pretty soon we had a lot of cash in the guitar case and uh, a gentleman came up to us and said, Hey, do you have any spare change? And just instinctively, we took all the cash in the guitar case and gave it to this gentleman, and he was just shocked. And that reaction of him in that moment is what drove us to say, what else can we do with this? And for some reason, that night, I'm, I feel so lucky, we were, uh, we were filming, and, and we put that video online, and that drove us to really uh, kind of drive into the idea of making these videos where we use our music for, for good. And that's how the whole thing began. That's awesome. And so you've had a few episodes here. I know I, I watched a few of them, like including <laughs> you guys like going through Mon Valley and yeah, and uh, it, it, it's a different concept for each one of them too, right? Right. right. Uh, like I know the Mon Valley one, you guys were, were taking pictures uh, uh, at a photocopier company. Yeah. Uh, help you. you took old pictures and you're trying to recreate them. Yep. Uh, now and and uh, and I saw you guys almost got hit by a tree. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was great. Yeah, there was a yeah. storm. That's episode nine. We were. Uh, we were asked to go out in, in Mon Valley and promote this event called Mon Valley Sizzles, which is a 
charity concert, which is how we found that connection there. And uh, and we were like, how do we make how do we make this episode be interesting to Mon Valley? How can we do something cool to tie in the past and the future? And we went out and found old photos of the of the surrounding area and discovered uh, what they were like in present day. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the thing is like there's a there's a general rough outline of what spare change is, and we try to push that limit and try to find new ways to engage people in. Uh, really test the boundaries of what we're doing. You guys love using your drone too, I see. <laughs> we do. Yeah, we got uh, in our crew, Taylor Mansick flies the drone and he's incredible. So we try to make sure that uh, we pair up the drone shots with, it has been iPhone shots pr- primarily. And mm-hmm. Now we've actually been filming with a crew, two crews, First wow. Victory Films and Millennium Multimedia. So yeah, that's been the sweet spot is pairing like really professional drone shots with kind of more rough around the edges shots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's definitely there's definitely some uh, selfie iPhone video yep. going on yeah. there. Yeah, we don't uh, shy away from that either. <laughs> like it's just it 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 should feel and hopefully does feel like you're kind of going out in this adventure with us as mm-hmm. one of your friends. That's awesome. So, you, what you know, you're you're of course 10 episodes well, 11 episodes in yeah. now. Uh, we'll talk specifically about the 11th episode uh, 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 here coming up. But uh, what has been kind of your favorite thing that they get into that you guys had an opportunity to do through this video? Well, I I'd have to say this 11th episode is probably the one that really feels like we're firing on all cylinders. Mm-hmm. You know, we've we've been really testing like I said the boundaries of what spare change is. And with this 11th episode, it felt like a good opportunity at the end of the year to go out and try to see, you know, now that we've created this, this brand, so to speak, what can we do with it? And we called in a lot of favors <laughs> and we, uh, we made what I think is a pretty cool concept for a video to raise awareness for uh, the best of the Batch Foundation. So this one is probably my favorite right now, but I say that every time a new episode comes out, so... I'll just have to one up it with number twelve. All right, what's your second favorite then? Second favorite, <laughs> I really like uh, episode eight. We went uh, we went back to State College where our band began playing, and got a chance to sort of revisit the old haunts and uh, tell that story. And there's a great program there called Acres Project that helps adults with autism. It's like housing, but also like back to works programs. And they were just launching this new nonprofit, so we had the chance to sort of tell their story by proxy through us and the cool thing about it is that you know the whole town kind of came around this cause there's a lot of businesses in this video that you know you wouldn't normally you know expect to be helping out like a boxing gym for example Mm -hmm. uh and the great thing is that after this episode 12 families reached out to the charity to to sort of become part of that program and that they were at capacity and they got two interns from it as well so we love the views we love the likes and comments and all that stuff but it's the tangible part of it that really, you know, inspires us to, to push the boundaries. So that's why that one kind of sticks out for me. I know I, I've been a, a part of um, I've done a lot of work with nonprofits, uh, video series, you know, things like that. And it's always been kind of, again, that tangible thing. Like, did we get something? Do we right. make a difference to this? Do we inform people on on the issue or or ways to help out or anything like that? Um, what do you think it is that has about this series that is getting people's attention and and actually activating people then rather than just be another passive video that people come across on Facebook. You know, I think, I think it's that we just come at it from such a different angle and, you know, we get to say the things that the charity can't say about themselves Mm -hmm. by, you know, a lot of times being the people that ask the questions because we're learning ourselves and the person, average audience person is sort of seeing us, you know, learn about the charity through our eyes. And I think that puts a good kind of a good angle on it because you're the questions you might want to ask about, let's say type one diabetes, but you don't get a chance to ask, we'll ask for you. Mm-hmm. And that's part of it. Another part of it's that, you know, we're trying to, to, to make these videos for these causes be the kind of videos we'd like to watch. And that doesn't mean it has to be a quote unquote charity video informative. It's, it's the sugar That is us going out and being on an adventure and having fun with the medicine, which is learning about a great cause and how they can support it. So I think it's that balance that people are responding to. You're not just being sort of spoken to about a cause you should support. You're becoming part of it and learning about the people behind it. Absolutely. So we did promise music. So... (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, I have this this old guitar here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we want to do more musical things here in the studio. Now there was a request for Johnny Cash. Should we do it <laughs> from your dad? Yeah, so. my dad. So I probably I know it's not fun to listen to, but I definitely need to tune this thing up real quick. It's been out in the cold all night. Oh no. So I'll tell you, like my the cool thing about my parents is that they are always very supportive of me playing music. And usually people's parents would be like, what are you going to get a real job? <laughs> and I was the guy that actually played music professionally. And then when I decided to kind of go back into like the corporate world, they were like, what are you doing? <laughs> so it was reverse. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. And we had a chance to play, you know, three years professionally in table 10. Uh, but every time my dad got a chance to see us play, he'd want to hear Johnny Cash. So... I'll do that song for my father and hopefully someone else out there might like it. I hear the train a coming, it's a rolling around the bend. Yeah, I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom prison. And time keeps dragging on When I hear that lonesome whistle Roll on the sand and song When I was just a baby My mama told me, son Always be a good boy Don't ever play with guns But I shot a man in Reno Just to watch him die when I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. Well, I bet there's rich folks eating on some fancy dining car. They're probably drinking whiskey, smoking fat cigars. Well, I knew I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But those people keep on moving. And that's what tortures me Well, if they freed me from that prison, if that railroad train was mine, I'd probably move it further, a little down that line, yeah, far from Folsom Prison. That's where I want to stay. And I let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. Nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you thank you and uh and we do have some people asking in the chat room um how to support uh, support the batch foundation for oh. your last video but we did drop the link in there yeah and of course everything's over at spare change that's TV, great yeah right? we're working with this this uh platform called spot fund which we've never done before every time we put a video out really the call to action has been share the video help us spread awareness mm -hmm. but uh you know kudos to the batch foundation they really pushed us to say what else can be done what's the clear call to action here and that challenged us to find a platform that we could accept donations, except for us, rather than, you know, calling on people to donate a bunch of money, you know, we, we plan to put on a lot more episodes. So our call to action really is just to donate $1. Mm -hmm. And people, have, I think, have been, like, surprised by that. But I equate it to stopping by a, a guy performing on the street, a band performing on the corner, you throw a dollar into the guitar case. And that's what I'm trying to do here with these videos is that, you know, just throwing a dollar into the bucket. If we, if we had a dollar for every video or video view we got last time, we'd have $65,000 for JDRF. Now, I don't expect that to happen. I know it's a, it's a big push. And, and getting someone to pull out their wallet and actually make a contribution, that's a, it's a time-consuming thing. It's a step. Mm -hmm. I think the dollar thing kind of helps people get to the point where it's like, I can do that. I can take the, the 10 seconds it takes to put my credit card information there for a dollar. And that's really all we're asking for because we want to make sure that as we're making these videos, there's a tangible outcome. And SpotFone was great because they, they host the video online. The minimum donation is a dollar, and it's hard to come by 
on uh, crowd giving campaign platforms. So it really is, there's no barrier to entry. And uh, they were very helpful with us setting up the campaign and uh, really getting that video to be embedded there. So we're trying it out. And you know, for a long time, I was sort of cautious about this because I know 65,000 views does not equal $65,000. Mm. I'm aware of that. And I got to a point where, you know, this is our 11th video. And I said, I'm okay now if we fail and you know don't raise the five thousand dollars i want to raise but get close and get some money for this very worthy cause that's okay because we'll get better and better at, be at, at that transaction and making the videos that make people say this was worth a dollar <laughs> in my, of my time mm -hmm. so that's that's the current state we're in right now is we've been challenging ourselves to evolve and the current evolution is saying if you see this video online episode 11 and you go wow, that was great. That was worth my time. It, throw a dollar, just one. And let's see if we can make a big impact with just a little bit of money per person. It's, it feels very similar with this website, uh, Spot Fun, uh, we're showing you guys on the video. And uh, it feels like that Patreon model, yeah. you know, but, but, you know, towards charity. Right. That's really awesome. And people have told me about Patreon as an option. And I know, from what I understand, it's more of like a closed network. You yeah, can pay yeah. to play sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I, I, personally, I don't like that. I mm -hmm. want people to be able to see the video. Because listen, I get, like even a dollar to some people is not something they can do. But they can mm -hmm. definitely share the video and maybe get in front of someone that can donate a dollar. So I, personally, maybe history will prove me wrong. I just don't think Patreon is the right model for us. Right. Because I want to make sure we're inclusive, not. Right. You know. and, well, and I think, yeah, and, and, and there's different levels you can do with Patreon too. But, but this is more geared towards charity and it right. has a lot better hooks than than i mean even you know patreon having a little bit of controversy this this year about or this week about how uh they they handle things really right so so and i like the you know front page just says this is a social impact network yeah for these guys and it fits so. our brand i think mm -hmm. you know they're the cool thing about spot fun is that we we reached out to them and saying you know trying to understand what their their ability to offer the charity was and and they were a group of young people from Brooklyn that are trying to create sort of what we want in Spare Change, which is like a micro donation platform. Like I think to have five thousand one dollar donations is better than having one five thousand dollar donation, mm -hmm. and that's what we're trying to do. And hopefully, if we can grow that as a thing, our audience will know that you know next video that comes out, we're gonna find find you a really worthy cause to highlight, and you know it'll be known that you can throw a dollar into the bucket and help them out. Yeah, you normalize it, right? Right. You're like, they get used to that concept, and it's like, well, in their video, that was great. Here's, a, here's you know, throw exactly. another buck in the bucket. Yeah, So, definitely. And hopefully you, you build that. And I need to shout out, uh, there's a group called Waldron P Private Wealth that have stepped in, and, and, and in their own right, they probably wouldn't tell you this, but they've donated a lot to the Batch Foundation and other charities in Pittsburgh. They're a private wealth firm. And they've stepped in because of this video, and they're helping us push it out you know, sponsored posts to get people to see it and hopefully donate. So um, it's kudos to them. You know, this is a new concept, what we're doing with Spare Change, but you'll see in the very right front of the video presented by Waldron Private Wealth, and, and that family uh, has been very helpful in helping us help the Batch Foundation. So shout out to those guys. That's awesome. Let's talk about this new episode that just came out, which I believe just dropped today. Today. As, as of this recording. And, and even seeing it's already raised about two hundred thirty dollars. Uh, I know. Looking, looking at the, uh, it's great. the spot fund. Yeah, I'm excited about um, it. Is that where we're at right now? Yeah. yeah, yeah Before yeah. this, it was like two hundred something. So it's going up. I love it. Two thirty two. So let's let's get it to three hundred by the end of this episode Whoa. recording, huh? Is that possible? You got <laughs> I, that? Yeah, we got we got a good bit of. Oh, I we don't get know. to three hundred. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we got we got some people I watching out there. So if you guys want to go drop it, and we did drop the link. If in you the chat room. if you want to hear a song. Make a donation on Spot Fund right now, and I'll play it for you. There you go. And you and I'll I'll probably be able to get close to it. I I know about ten seconds of every song. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my thing is to be like that's all I got. <laughs> that's awesome. So, that's so, great, so the, the Slays video, you, you talked a little bit about it, but it was sure. it was you you really kind of showed off a lot of Pittsburgh. It was a very Christmas episode, yeah. uh, a, a very special edition of Spare Change, I guess. Definitely. Right? Yeah. Uh, you know, tell, tell me a little bit about it. And again, I was there um, the morning <laughs> where, where you were doing a lot of the filming at, at Work Hard. I yeah. happened to be there uh, uh, setting up you for another event. You made a cameo. I didn't have no I, idea you were I, there. I had to, it was, you guys showed up right when I had to leave oh, with okay. the equipment, unfortunately. Yeah. But I see this A-Team van pop up. Yeah, fantastic which, limos which showed up. Just, which just... 
Beautiful, Blew right? Blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking pictures. I'm sending it to my wife because she's a huge <laughs> A-Team fan. And, yeah. uh, and, 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 and it, it was great to see the final project here That's great. come out. You Thank know. you. But, uh, yeah, talk a little bit about that. And, and, and how did you get everybody together for that? Yeah. You, have so some, you have a lot of special guests in a there. A lot of special guests. A lot of cameos. I know. I know. Uh, we were showing it to one of the girls in the office here. And she was like, she was like is that Randy Land? Randy Land. <laughs> Got Randy. I know. I, I'm still impressed that we got randy i'm pumped about that so there's an old uh saturday night live skit i think it's formally called christmas treat where mm-hmm. they sing a song called i wish it was christmas today and it's jimmy fallon horatio sands chris Kattan, and tracy morgan and it's one of my favorite skits because it i that was like the era of snl that like i loved when i was i was younger so it looks like it's going to be this dramatic holiday performance and they walk out with like a Casio keyboard and they play this song and it's like almost purposely bad when they play this song but it's just so funny to me and and there's so many elements of it as simple as it is like Tracy Morgan for example doesn't even do anything he just like dances Chris Kattan just holds the keyboard so I've always loved the skit it's been one of my favorites for SNL and uh earlier this year well a couple months ago probably I was in an antique shop there's a couple of cool antique shops by my house, and I always, like, every now and then I'll just cruise through there and see what treasures I find. And this keyboard was there, uh, and it was, like, calling my name. Like, this is the keyboard that's going to help you pull this off. And that's what made me think about that skit uh, is this Casio keyboard. So I bought it. It was $15. And I just thought, you know, it would be a great concept to play that song particularly because I love it. I love, like, the, the homage to SNL around Pittsburgh and that was the first thought and then it became okay if we're going to perform around Pittsburgh we can make it even more engaging if the people we perform to have some kind of following uh, and get their fans involved and you know we talked about Scott McTaggart before one thing he said about spare change is it's multiplicative that's Scott's language not mine (laughs) but it makes sense because we're really trying to multiply like a charity by a business by music and in this video you're seeing that that concept really played out is Everyone that's in this video outside of our group in Spare Change has some kind of following, is doing something cool in Pittsburgh, all the way up to the travel is brought to you by Fantastic Limo and the beautiful 18 van in Jive Turkey, the other classic van that's cruising around town. So everyone that we go to now has some sort of thing that they're doing that's cool, and that's multiplying by that. And then it sort of just became like, who can we get? And how do we make this end of the year spare change video feel great and be a cool concept? So we tried to find a group that we could support. And I really, I really like the idea of taking donations and doing something with the donations and not just like handing money over, but rather show us go to a toy store and buy out the store with all the money we raise and give those gifts to a group that's helping children around the holidays. So we learned about the Batch Foundation and they have – uh, well, it's Best of the Batch, I should say, and it's ran by Charlie Batch, former Pittsburgh Steeler, and his wife, Latasha, and they have this be- uh, Batch of Toys toy drive, and I actually got a chance to talk to Charlie, and not to name another group, but he, he had been working with another group that provides toys to kids around the holidays, and he just they said, we can do this better, and the cool thing about this foundation is that they they don't just talk about it. They like roll their sleeves up and do the work, so when it comes to the toy drive, they're, they're getting multiple cho- toys per child. So the entire family can get gifts. They're <laughs> in the foundation. You can see these stacks of toys in the video and they're all grouped by like age and like, you know, what people would want. And then they get a bunch of volunteers. They wrap them themselves and they deliver them themselves. So you have this family, the batch family and the foundation who are, you know, saying we can do this better for our, our youth in Pittsburgh but then also putting in the work. Like it's not easier for them to like wrap presents around the holidays, mm-hmm. especially 7,000 some presents. But that's what was really compelling to me is that's one example of what Best of the Batch does. They also have a computer lab in their building. They have uh, reading and computer literacy programs for youth in Pittsburgh to really make sure everyone has a fair shot, you know, to get that education that some people probably just take for granted. And then also they provide recreational and after school activities. So when I learned about that, I was like, this is great because I want to support a local group, a local charity. Um, 
and that's why it felt perfect. So it started to come together and, you know, getting the people involved to be in the video was just a matter of tenacity and emailing the mayor of Pittsburgh 20 times and tweeting at him and calling him. And, uh, you know, when we, when we met him <laughs> at, uh, at, you know, city council, he was like, first of all, nice job getting me to be in this video because I'm a hard guy to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we all laughed at that. And and it's mostly his schedule is, is, is the issue. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So like, we, like he, I, he is all up for things like this. Yeah. But it's just getting that, that, that time with him, unfortunately. I mean, he does run a city. So. Right. Which is fair. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Great use of time. And I think, I think I got to shout out Scott again because he was like, you know what? You should try to get the mayor in, in one of your videos. And I, and I was like, I don't think we have that kind of clout yet that we can get the mayor. And he's like, trust me, he wants to do this video. He just doesn't know it yet. So that's the kind of thing that sort of drove it. And then I was like, who else can we get? You know, Randy of Randy Land would be a great person and place to go. We got Randy to be involved. And thanks to his, uh, his uh, business partner, Fu, who helped arrange that. And really, you know, it just became let's tell this story of us going out, playing music, raising money, doing something great with it. And, uh, and you know, what I love about this video, episode 11, is that you don't realize you're watching a charity video. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you realize, I'm watching a charity video. They yeah, because it looks like, <laughs> I mean, it looks like, oh, here's a fun holiday. You know, yeah. there, there's been this, like, I think Pittsburgh Dad has done one. Yeah. Uh, 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 your Jag Off has done one, right? Right. And then, you just, it, then, then you snuck a message in there. And, yeah, before you know it, you're like, wait a minute, I just learned about this entire foundation. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we you know, end on the mayor, this big finale. Yeah. And then of course we, our new call to action is if you like this video, throw a dollar in the bucket, you know, go to this website and help us out. And people have been, I love it. Like I've seen, I'm literally seeing the number go up by a dollar. And I know people are getting that message across cause that's, that's all we're asking. And that's, what's been really cool about this one in particular is it's probably the first one where we've had a really sound concept by the way it has jumped up a hundred dollars hundred dollars since we've been talking what, what is uh, that right now 322 dollars what are you like, kidding me since we've been sitting here <laughs> this is fantastic and that's at least three more donors that's so great yeah thank you so whoever the, thank you i gotta look at the camera thank you very much <laughs> we and you can see right now like from my reaction i hope you can see this is new to us you know every the cool thing about spirit change is if, if you go back and look at the different episodes you can literally start at episode one and see us the first night out on the street performing. Mm-hmm. So every time we have a new episode out, we're evolving it and growing it. And uh, I'm as in all, you know, uh, as I think the people that are reacting to it, I, I love it as well because it's a community thing. We're mm-hmm. doing it together. So uh, Donna has donated. Donna? She, 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 and she wants to hear. Okay. Uh, I hope I can play whatever Donna wants uh, to hear. Whatever you like the most. <laughs> whatever I like the most? <laughs> whatever song you like most. Donna, that's, first of all, you're going to donate and then give me the option? That's so nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, do you like anything in particular? I know a lot of music. Don, no? Oh, oh, we go. It got a little bit of a delay, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> give, it, give it about Donna, 30 seconds, me now, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, no, that's awesome. Yeah, and again, seeing something like that that's is, so is, cool. is great. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. Is, you know, I just feel like sometimes people just need a not, like a, just a little bit of a push to do something charitable. Mm-hmm. And the cool thing about it is, is if you donate a dollar to this cause, you're going to feel, I guarantee, equally as good. She said she's leaving it up to you. She's leaving it up to me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play the song in the video. I'll do a little bit of a different version, but I'll, I'll play this song I love from Saturday Night Live. And if only we can get Jimmy Fallon to see us do our version, maybe that'll happen. That would be great. This is I Wish It Was Christmas Today. I don't care what your mama said, Christmas time is here. And I don't care if you think it's a lie, Christmas time is dear. All I know is Santa's sleigh is making its way to the USA. I wish it was Christmas today. 
I wish it was Christmas today I don't care what the newsman said Christmas is full of cheer And I don't care if you think it's a lie Christmas is almost here I don't care about anything Except hearing those sleigh bells ring a ding ding I wish it was Christmas today I wish it was Christmas today Christmas today wish it was Christmas today oh oh wish it was Christmas today wish it was Christmas today and all I know is Santa's sleigh is making its way to the USA I wish it was Christmas today for Donna thank you Donna <laughs> We also got a request for Cat Stevens. Cat <laughs> Stevens. And I don't know. Oh, no. And I know it, but I don't know it. I wish <laughs> I. I've been listening to Wild World a lot lately. I want to learn that one. Try again, whoever wants there that. There you go, for next time when we do, yeah. our, when our, when we do our next holiday uh, yeah. music special here in we're the have to, Media Studios. We're going to have to one-up this episode next Christmas holiday season. We're going to have to find a way. To get more cameos, go bigger. Also, my mom's a fan. Your mom's a fan? <laughs> She's watched. What's her name? Uh, Kathy. Kathy. I'm a fan. <laughs> Heard a lot about you, Kathy. Great son. He works very hard. He's got a lot of channels. A lot of channels you have. Great Lyft driver. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he interviewed me before the show. So That's right. On the stream. But, um, but anyways, so, so you know, you, you, you had a fantastic first year with Spare Change. What is, you know, what, what, what were you looking forward to in 2018 with this, uh, with this concept or any other side concepts coming out of it? Or <laughs> Yeah, well, or uh, we, I really want to take this model right now with episode 11 into 2018, which is finding a unique way to showcase a new cause and continuing that model of donating a dollar for every video and growing that. Um, some, some like stretch goals that I have is to take the concept out to different cities. Like I would love to go to New York and film an episode with uh, a band that performs in the subway. And right now we're the band that's in all the spare change episodes, but I really would like to go out and highlight different bands and different mm -hmm. musicians and try to tell their stories and, and just kind of maybe coach them in a way to what we do to raise money and then let them do their thing and find that spin on it and kind of multiply it by other musicians. So it so, would be so a dream. So kind of not I franchise it, but, but more like, you know, let's say we did an episode where we go to a different town, mm -hmm. we find a local band in that town that people love in that town. We tell their story with a cause that they support and get businesses involved and make that be an episode. And for me, what would be really cool would be to go to like the Pittsburgh spot in New York. Cause I know there's a ton of like Pittsburgh bars. So mm -hmm. tie that back into what we're doing and just highlight musicians along the way that, you know, sort of have that camaraderie and idea that they can use their music for this power of good. So that's how we're thinking about it right now. Mm -hmm. Haven't quite cracked that code yet. We've really been taking it one episode at a time. And you can see that through the videos is like, uh, episode seven, we, it's the first time we've partnered a business with a charity, with uh, Levity Float Tank and Squirrel Hill, with the uh, Breaking Free Therapeutic Horse Farm. And that connection was like how we went to episode eight, and we're like, what happens if we get five businesses instead of one? And then nine is like, what happens if we go out to a community and try to get the community involved? So like, you see the evolution, and for us, the next episode 12, whatever that might be, is going to be probably growing off of what we learned from episode 11. So. Long-term goals, big goals, but also just, you know, find a way to make the next one and grow from there. There you go. Maybe some people watching out there, if you have any ideas uh, to get them into your town, yeah. anybody to talk to. If you have please. a cause we should know about, yeah. if you have a business that wants to be involved. And the cool thing we get to do for businesses is, like, a lot of times businesses are very charitable, and no one gets to see that part of it. No one gets to, you know, for me as a consumer, if I knew that a business, you know, mom-and-pop shop was helping a cause out, 
I'd probably want to put my dollars there. We get the opportunity again, like through our eyes to show the audience like, Hey, this, this Lionheart gym in state college is donating money to acres project charity. You should support them because of that. And that's where I think that we were able to provide businesses with a value is telling their story. And we get to watch, you know, the audience gets to watch these businesses go, yeah, I'm going to throw my money into that. I'm going to help that cause out. So awesome. Love that part of it. So where can people go find uh, spare change or get a hold of you if they want to help out in any way? Yeah. Um, our website is sparechange.tv. And there's a contact form. Feel free to send us an email. Um, across social media, we are Spare Change TV, Facebook.com slash Spare Change TV. On Instagram, same thing. Although, we just landed the actual Spare Change account on Twitter. Pretty big news here. Nice. Yeah. So, we are officially Spare Change on Twitter. So, that's pretty great. Thank you to my friend Pat Halley for helping us out find that. And, and I love you. And you're using this stuff, too. Like, uh, watching the videos, you know, I saw one where... You guys are doing uh, the the Instagram lives, uh, yeah. you know, Instagram stories, and putting and in, integrating those in. So when you're out filming, like people can kind of go along with you, exactly in the process. Yeah, I think it's also how you asked before how we might grow it. Uh, really finding ways that people can be involved during the filming of it, because half of it's half of it's the outcome. Like you, with episode eleven, this new one, we call it a Pittsburgh story. You see the outcome of us filming it. I'd love in the future for you to see behind the scenes of what went into us making that video. And I think that's how we might grow that in the future. Seeing something like when we were downtown uh, in Market Square, we walked into this building to perform. And you said about our drone shots before. Taylor, who, who flies the drone and films, he's not a musician the way that Jared, who was in my band before, and I were musicians. So we had him playing Jingle Bells. And we're like, all right, we're going in. We're doing it. And he's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> and then uh, we walked into this room where, like, the, the, like the, the, I don't know, the train, the toy model train is at, and uh, there was a stage there. And I was like, we're going on that stage. We're doing it. He's like, no, man, no. So we ended up doing it, like, right in front of this tree, which you see in the video. But uh, <laughs> the funny thing is when we finished up, Taylor walked down, and he was like, that was good for me. That was, that was a good moment. I pushed myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's part of it, too, is us trying to push ourselves to the next thing and, and show that part of it that you don't get to see when you see mm. the final outcome. That's awesome. Yeah. So maybe there'll be a uh, spare change behind the scenes yeah, documentary. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe one day. That'd be great. There's that's a lot, awesome. a lot of footage to choose from. That's awesome. Go check it out. Go watch all the videos. Uh, 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 please, you know, definitely right now with the the Batch Foundation, uh, get in there and let, let we should, we, I'll probably check it out before we sign off here yeah. and see if it's gone up again. Uh, and but thank you for donating if you have. And the goal is five thousand dollars, right? Yeah, we we're setting the bar high. I'll be honest with you. This is we didn't know what number to choose, and I felt like if we're gonna go for it, we might as well we'll go high and, and make a great impact. So excellent. Going for five thousand dollars, and like I said before, I would love nothing more than to have. Five thousand one dollar donations, and and that would mean a lot to say that a lot of people are contributing a little bit of money and make a big difference. Awesome! Thank you so much, Josh, for joining us in studio. Thank you. Uh, you want to play us out uh, with anything? One more, yeah. There you Let's go. do it. Let's do one more song. Let's see. No Cat Stevens, though, right? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have that in my repertoire. Got to sit up on the couch here for this one. All right, comfortable couch, by the way, guys. You know this already. Though. Oh, yeah. That's why we carried up four blocks. <laughs> Is that the, what you did? From the old studio. Yeah, it was the only thing it's that commitment. didn't fit in the truck. We got pictures and video of it's it. It's laid back enough that the guests can relax and probably say things they don't want to say. But not me, but other mm -hmm. people. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. perfect. So I'm going to do... Scott saying Freebird in the chat. Scott, <laughs> Scott would say Freebird in he the would, chat. He right? would. He would. We do have a limit on Facebook. Uh... <laughs> Never heard that before. That's the first first time I've ever heard someone ask for that. It's so crazy. <laughs> Not true. Every show. There's always one. All right. So I got to give a shout out real quick. Sorg. Our old band, Table 10, is getting back together. We're performing on January 27th at the Raskeller in State College, Pennsylvania. The last day the Skeller is going to be open. So we're getting back together for a good cause to send off this, this bar that we love. We used to play there back in the day on Saturday nights. So if you're a Penn State person or a State College person, you want to see the old group get back together, that's the date. And if you're not, if you're local, 
I'm actually going to be playing a show on New Year's Eve at Yellow Bridge Brewing in Delmont, which I love Yellow Bridge. Uh, fantastic beer, even better family that runs the place. I don't play a lot of shows anymore. Usually when we play shows, it's for spare change now. But this is a group that I love. So if you're looking for something to do on New Year's, want to come hang and have a few great beers, that's where I'll be at. This is an original song from Table 10 back in the day. It's called Lift Me Up. I remember when negativity was a part of me Hanging like a monkey to a tree And every day the rain would cover me I couldn't see the sun through the forest canopy And the leaves starts breaking, branches shaking From the stone that I am making When I'm falling to the ground You're the one that comes around to lift me up when I feel like I'm falling Lift me up when my world's coming down Lift me up, take me back to happiness Lift me up, make me feel like a child I remember when negativity was a part of me Feeling like a monkey on a tree Every day the rain will cover me I couldn't see Sun through the forest canopy You start breaking branches shaking From the stone that I am making When I'm shaking to the ground You're the one that comes around To lift me up when I feel like I'm falling Lift me up when my world's coming down Lift me up, take me back to happiness Lift me up, make me feel like a child ah, No, I'm never gonna give up on you You're the only one that gets me through No, I'm never gonna give up on days I feel will never end You pick me up again and Lift me up when I feel like I'm falling Lift me up when my world's coming down Lift me up, take me back to happiness Lift me up, make me feel like Feel like a child Lift me up when my world's coming down Lift me up when my world's coming down Lift me up, take me back to happiness Lift me up, make me feel like a child Lift me up Thanks, sir. Awesome. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.